check this. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Kian back again. Another episode of the Pressure Career Mode Season 3. Now, if you know what's last episode, it was a pretty good one. We nearly, so nearly, incredibly nearly went on a five game unbeaten run until we had a seven goal thriller loss to Juventus. But before we show the results of the last game, if you do like the videos, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, share your friends, all the great stuff. Your support is very much appreciated. I think we gained how many subscribers? Yeah, we gained about four subscribers in the last two to three days, which is pretty good. So, thank you very much, guys, and all the new people who are here. Welcome. I hope you're enjoying the content. Anyway, we did eventually lose to Juventus 4-3. Now, the thing is, we were 1-0 down. Then I scored, so it was 1-0. Then they were 2-1 up. Then I scored a kickoff boost. Then I think I made 3-2. And then they made 3-all. And then finally, in the 90th minute... I think I, I don't know if I could have done anything else. Asensio scored and I ended up think. So I actually had a great episode. He scored a hat trick here. I don't know if he scored against Atlanta, but he did score against Anderlecht as well and he scored in the game against Bologna. And his least goal scorer with 12 goals. So he is the closest thing to, I won't even call him Balotelli Rapazzi. He's his own guy. Like he's way quicker than Balotelli. He does, he's not exactly the strongest, but he's a great finisher one-on-one, -on -one and he's incredibly quick, and his dribbling's getting very, very good as well. Regardless, we have a, a schedule now. What is our schedule? We have a sim against Shea Verona, and we have a sim against Sassuolo. Only because, if I win this, I'm nearly 100% sure I'm through to the last 16, If I, because I can end up finishing second, because I think we're behind Sporting. And then a big game against Roma, who are actually just ahead of us on goal difference, so if we beat them, we go up into fifth place. And then, then next episode we'll have a same against Benevento, a crucial game that could possibly put us on top of the table against Sporting, a, probably a play as well against Cagliari because they're their fourth, and Torino as well. Right, so this is a fairly rotated team, Adiero, Manquillo, Musacchio, Sole, Lato, Tonali, Zimral, who's going to be playing on a white midfielder role, Dragomir, Spalek, Viejo and Balotelli. Hopefully, we can still pick up three points. Since so Chevo, I'm near 100% sure in the relegation zone right now. So let's just double check that Chevo Verona. There's I there with his 12 league goals. Be nice if this would load for you. Yep, they're bottom of the league. They have got one win, no draws, nine losses. If we don't beat them, I'm going to cry. So, surely. Come on, they've conceded seven goals in their last three games. Please just just win guys please pretty please 3-0 win I comes on and scores Viejo scores and Tonali scores it's great to see oh my god guys look at this so Lazio drop points Roma drop points and we're up to fifth place only three points behind Cagliari boys obviously we're still a lot ahead uh, away from uh, third place we're good what's that seven points and then eight points behind Milan and I don't even know I don't even think the event just lost the game if they got a draw against them I think that would have been their first non win on season it would have been yeah they've won 11 out of 11 so it looks like even might win the league well you don't know we could end up winning the league like I said we have four seasons to try and do as much as we can in this career mode and Adiero has completed his Things. We are no longer going to be boosting his positioning, reflexes, and diving. It's going to be switched to handling and ref handling and kicking now. And then Morio is now going to be getting extra drills as well. So basically, so actually, no, he's already on it. So as soon as his handling goes above 80, guys, uh, it's all going to go to Morillo so we can try and get a decent backup goalie because we actually don't even have one. So yeah, it, end it is international break, so I might as well wait a little longer. Right, Sassuolo are obviously a stronger team, so we're going to play a stronger side. So let's are going to be in the defence along with Kistana, Fosu, Lato, Storaro, Tonali, and also Dragomir, who has 89 finishing. I know he's more of a cam, but if I could just boost up his defending and physical stats, he is going to be so good in maybe by the end of the season, going into season four. Chichers will play a cam this game anyway. Uh, he usually plays my wide centre mid, and I'm going to play Viejo on I up front. Who I, I didn't know has 85 strength, has 84 stamina, 
If his composure was just in the 70s, like it'd be a lot happier. Also, he's three stars, three stars. He's six, he's six foot though. What's his jumping like? 77, heavy arc season, great. It's only more. And go, like I said though, guys, I'm going to try to keep Quirmo videos under 25 minutes because I can't keep them under 20 because it's way too fucking hard. Uh, I'm just going to have to talk to Castani here just so I can get his morale up anyway. Because, uh, yeah, it's actually kind of important. I'll consider it, even though you're already in the team. Right, it's away from home. We, if Cagliari lose, can possibly go up into fourth place here. Come on. Let's go, boys. Come on, they beat Napoli. Can we beat them? 1-1. One, one. Oh, we draw it in the 89th minute. Can we stay in fifth? We will have to find out till after. We're going to play yet yeah, again a rotated team. Obviously, it's going to play. And by the way, Mario will be my backup goalkeeper as soon as he hits 65 overall because that's kind of okay for the cup competitions early stage anyway. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do yet again a rotated team. Except it'll be a mixture of both, I suppose. Get Dragomir is sent off, unfortunately, so he won't be playing. Right, so I think that's a pretty good lineup. We have Adiero, we have Manquillo, Soleil on the right this time, Torres on the left, we've got Lato, Storaro, my basic midfield. And then up front, instead of Viejo, we have the Dream Partner. I'd say about how he's just getting slower and slower and slower. Stamina is going to be going down to under 60 soon. It's so sad to see. He's still doing very, very well, though, even though he's fucking it's going to be 32 soon. Him and I just compare the stats like fucking hell. Like the only stats he really beats them in are the same dribbling and passing. Over 30 go This is the line of that. They both got over 30 goals. They did. Wait, no. I can't even remember. Did Bounce score 30 league goals last season? No. That we did. I can't remember. Why can't I remember this? Yes, he scored exactly 30 last season. So he scored 30. I think you scored about 22, I think it is. So they scored 52 goals between them last season. But let's see, can they ravage, no offence to the team we're going up against, the worst team in our Europa League group, like they picked up what, one point? Yeah, one point it was a draw against, I think, I actually think it was a draw against Sporting actually, so, uh, no they are not running out for Balotelli, what are you talking about, he's been rotated around, I'm proud of you, uh, stay grounded, I'm proud of you, there you go, we're a big fa we're a big happy family here, anyway, let's get into this game against... I think it's University Craiova. I can't remember, to be completely honest. We will not go through a episode without a conference, so Brescia has proceeded as the better team. Uh, we need to be... We need to play better. Yeah, we need to play better, I suppose. Last time we scored three goals. Uh, Universitatia. And uh, look, we we'll be able to do it again. Uh, they can learn from their mistakes. Yeah, we'll, we'll be humble. We'll be humble. Your team is basking in great form recently. Do you think you continue to perform with slightly pace in upcoming matches? We must avoid distractions, yes. Three last... These last results have been great. Shouldn't be distracted. Tough matches. I'm confident this run's not ending anytime soon. Hopefully, we said that about the last one and uh, you will put a swift end to that. Anyway, first game of the episode. Let's kick off. And here we... Uh, let's take a look at their team. I like I said, I can't remember a single. Oh my good God! Phone calls. Why is it that every time I'm about to record, it has to be someone on the phone? Anyway, the lineup. Uh, like I said, I don't remember anyone in this entire lineup. Excuse the not more like the stay. It's again their occasional mowing. Anyway, uh, like I said, I don't know any of these players. Apart from maybe the goalkeeper. That name looks awfully familiar. Pigliacelli. Sounds very Italian. Maybe it's not. Anyway, let's get into Unfortunately, their kits are too much like ours, so we can't even wear a home kit at home, so that's a pity. But we kick off regardless and hopefully come out with all three points and a couple of goals. Balotelli actually scored two against these in their first game. It was the first ever Europa League game, actually. Ivanov. Oh, that was absolutely terrible. Okay. Sole. It's a good save by Adiero. Okay, they're the one to have the first shot of the game. And it results in the corner. Big save, though, from our number 14. Probably should change it to number one and it's a good punch out. Can Storaro get there first? It looks like he might. He might. He doesn't. And he even pushed it out even more. Good God. Intercepted though. Can't seem to get there though. Good cross. Well, shit. Okay then. Well. That turned shit very fucking quickly, didn't it? One cross. Soleil should not be losing his man there. Ah, God. Adier could have got really close to us. Where Soleil, though, what have you done? You just fell asleep. And it goes under Adier's hand. And uh, we're 1 0 down. Okay. 
In 11 minutes. Elvira cool. Alright, so like, you can try and make up for your mistake. Oh god. They are really fighting it here. I, it's impossible for them to go through anyway. Alright, here we go, Kachinovich. Ballo is way too slow. He's way too he's too slow. He can't get ahead of them anymore. 72 pace isn't enough. Go. Come on, Lato. 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 Good. Oh, that was... I was going to press circle to try and intercept, but instead it took a shot. And yeah, that is our next fucking game. Thanks for reminding us. He gets the interception in. And it's not properly passed out of the box, but now it is by Torres. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh, Balotelli, you're really starting to paint the back picture here. Spalik, though. He's offside. Oh, I was about to say, was it? No, he was offside. I fucking knew it. Fuck you, that's how. Literally. Oh my god, no. Those are probably the slowest step overs I've ever seen in my goddamn life. And he just went past me because I'm trying to think of fucking Q. Oh my god, I literally went past him with Soleil. I'm so fucking bad at defending. Fuck off, Kuljic. Ah, the pass. Uh, he gets it. Oh, come on. Super Mario, turn back to hands of time. Oh my god. Ah, damn. I thought he fucking did it. I really thought he did it there. That is the slowest burst I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Ah, that's kind of out on Balotelli. Still a good save, though. Right, yeah. Oh, Florian, I... Oh, there you go. That's how you score a fucking header. I'm scoring a couple of corners recently. Not just a career mode, but an ultimate team as well. And the big man, Florian, I pumps it into the roof of the net. Great delivery, right in front of goal. Boom. Keeper can't do anything about it. And it is yet another goal for this man, Florian. Only is second in the Europa League. But I think in all competitions, it's 14th. Uh, so, oh, I fell for the bait. I fell for the bait. I fell for the bait. Great tackle. Great tackle there, Kachinovic, let's go. I. Okay. Oh no. I can't rely on I for passing, like, you just can't let me. Unless it's an easy pass like that. And Spellek has 90 pace. Spellek has been a bit unlucky when it's finishing. Oh. Oh, I fucking gone on the line. God, that is so annoying. Oh, God, I thought I would have been able to. Nice tack on the wing. That's okay, I go crossing. Go on, my man. Balotelli! Oh, how? I'm actually so surprised he even connected to that. How has he missed? Oh, come on. You have to be scoring there. Oh. Oh, my God. Storaro. Storaro. Oh. Unlucky. Tenali win the header. Oh, he has. But oh, it's nowhere near Balo. Come, Balo. Right, we're about to go into half time. Two one down. Not looking very good. To be completely honest, it could be three. No, Sole gets it out. Yep. Right, we need to improve, boys. We really need to improve. Ballo has been absolutely um, non-existent this game. I might give him a couple more minutes. I'll give it to like the fiftieth or sixtieth minute, and then I'll bring up Viejo. I know, though. God, fuck off, phone. Seriously. Um, I might bring on. Hmm. I feel like Mankiw is getting beaten very easily on that uh, right hand side. I'm not sure if I should bring him on. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll bring him on, I'll bring him on. That's a great cross back post. Good header out. Come on, Lato. That's all you. Where you from? Yep, there you go. I know I could have kept the ball there, but it was just to make sure because you, you don't know what this game could do. Great challenge yet again. Two challenges in a row. Okay, didn't get the third. Pau Torres though. Go cross. Head it out. Sole, good touch by Storaro. And Kachinovic. Once again, Tanali's been wide. Oh my god, he's very quick, isn't he? Oh, can I I can't get the pass to Ballo. I can't get the pass to Ballo. Tanali had to go himself. It's a good shot. It's a great save. I wouldn't been able to get it to Ballo. I would not have been able. He's waiting, he's too slow. Tanali going wide yet again. Two headers in a row. Go on. Aye. Oh, I thought he actually did as well. Wait, is that another corner? It is. Aye. Big boy header, big boy header. Oh, Storaro, big boy header. Someone. Tanali. Kachinovic. Storaro. Ah, oh, the fucking pass is so much better than playing my first game of the episode and losing. Oh no. 
no, 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 cover. Oh, Kachinovic, what a block. What a block by Mishak Kachinovic and Balotelli. Come on. Oh, great turn. You have the better passing. And oh, you have the pace. Look at him. Look how quick this man is. Surely he can get around. Penalty. Yes. And he's a, it's a red card. He's last man. He's not last man. Okay. Let's go. I can you get two? He deserves it. He won it. He takes it. Sorry, Ballo, but this is... Mm, what's I's penalties, actually? Oh, they're only 66. Well, no, we'll give it to Mario instead, then. Come on, Mario. Actually, go top left. Go top left. Come on, Super Mario. Super Mario Balotelli. Can he put it in? Yes, he does! You can always rely on Balotelli from the penalty spot. I could have given it to I, but his penalties are way too low. Viejo now coming on. Manu Viejo coming on. Let's see if he can keep his nice little run going. Go cross, back post, Lato. 50 heading accuracy right there. Okay. Come on. Go. Manu. What a pass! Oh, he gets fucking up! He's fucking fouled me there! God! Obstruction! <laughs> Something there! Come on! Let's go. I'm going attacking. Corner. Viejo's the guy at the front post, sadly. Kicinovic. Tonali, try again. We'll try again. Try one more time. Viejo's in the box again. It's Jesus, it's fucking hopeless. Like he's five but six. He's not gonna be winning any fucking headers. Great, you're having a great end to the game now, Sole. I love it. Absolutely love it. Shbalik now. Oh Shbalik! Tonali! Oh no! How? 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 These headers! Why can't headers go in? Why? Ugh, he literally needs any straight contact that it's in. Oh, I have to go ultra attacking soon. Draro. Come on, I see Spalik. Oh, that's lovely. Oh my god, Spalik! He's found a way through! Can he get on the goal sheet? Yes, he can! Near post OP! And it's Nicholas Spalik who gives us the lead! Let's go! It's great little play with Storaro and Viejo. And then a brilliant shot. The keeper probably should be saving it, but it's near post OP. Look how quick the ball leaves. Yeah, he probably should be saving it, but it goes in. Nicholas Spalik with the goal to hopefully get us to win his... First in the Europa League, and I am making one more sub. It is a defensive substitution. Taking off Kicinovic and bringing on Viviani, just so we could try to sure this up. Get it, no matter what! Florian I with the shot, it's saved! Viejo, get there! Someone, put it in! Oh, it's still going, it's still going. It's still going, it's still going! Viviani! Shot! No, rebounder, all oh, these put headers are useless, guys. Headers are absolutely useless in this game. Good God. I think that should be it. I think that should be it. This keeper has pulled off some great saves, to be fair to him. This should be it. Yes, it is. We come back from 2-0 down. 2-3-2 with the goal scorers. I, Balotelli and Spalik, three of the golden boys for the first season, still here. We absolutely dominate them. 18 shots, 11 on target, 55% possession. You guys know I'm not a possession player. I just try to get as much attack as I can, basically. Tonali, I would probably say was a man of match. Him, or maybe I. I got a goal. Star got an assist. Tonali got an assist. Adiero got an assist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who did he assist? No, 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 no. Adiero got an assist. For who? Was it... Was I? No. Who did he get the assist for? Nah! For this, it wasn't the penalty. Surely not. It was the pe- Adier got an assist from the penalty. He must have belted it up to I. That must have happened and then I got, went, got taken down and... That must be- that must be- either that's a glitch, but fucking me! Adiero has an assist! Now let's get into this. Despite the win today, my queue didn't hit form expected of him. What does this mean? Bounce back, of course, he can bounce back. He's a good player, he actually really is. He managed to win the close match despite the goal in the second half. I think it's a difference in this game today. We were the better team. Yeah, fuck it, we were a better team. We were the, we were the better team. We destroyed him. You won again. Do you think this uh, played well? They actually definitely did. Um, so that's it, as well as us. You respect our opponents and they played well, but clearly, Russia's players be played better. There you go. That, that's pretty much simple. Like, it's simple. Of course, we played better, like, obviously. 
Thanks for listening to me. Hopefully, we can keep going. Actually, we need to take a look at our leap position. I think we're sixth. I think I'll take a proper look. We are sixth. Yes, and if we beat Roma and, and if Lazio drop points and if Cagliari drop points, we can head up into fourth place to end the F. Here we are at the Brescia. I don't know, to be honest. I actually have to look up the Brescia actual save because I don't think it's the Stadion 23 match, to be completely honest. But if it is, then... Regardless, it's definitely not the best name I've ever heard anyway. Uh, let's take a look at this. Olsen and Gold, they're not going with... What's his name anymore? Can't remember. Give me a second. It's not Olsen. It's... Who's the other guy? I, I can't remember. I actually can't remember. So now it's the Semedo. Is the up. Quates, Spinazzola. Un there. Oh, that guy's a right back. Don't know why he's at left mid. Cristante, Pellegrini, Campbell and Rebic. That is definitely the strongest team we've gone up against since Juventus. He's also very good at getting forward. Pellegrini. He's basically our Tonali. He's basically their Tonali, like deep blind playmaker. And we're 1 0 down in 5 minutes. We always concede fucking early. Oh, no, Tonali. What have you done there? I'm aiming, trying to aim through the two players there in front of you. But instead, you try to hit one right at them. And Melee. Good save, Adiero, big man. It's like, fuck. You knew what you knew I was trying to do there. You knew what I was trying to do. Did I bring someone sure? No, they're actually going for it. And he actually went for the shot. Okay, Rebic, calm down. I'm not oh, Kastana, come on. Seriously. No! I thought I did. I think I did good there. I, did, I, I think I actually did good there. <laughs> Lato, let's go. Drag him here. At least Dragon is actually staying in his actual fucking position. Oh, let's go! Oh, no, the touch was dirty! The dirty touch ruined it, Spalik! God! Oh, my God. I didn't even want the back here. I want a normal pass. Like, oh, Tanani can't even pass, like, dear Christ. I intercepted, hello. Hello, I intercepted the damn ball. Should technically be away from him at that stage. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I thought he was going to continue his run, but he stopped it last second. Oh, look at that, look at that. Dragomir, you have 8-9 finishing. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Oh, please, V, he'll get that first. Good job. I'm happy with that. Tanani, where the fuck is Kastana? Why is he so high up? Oh, and let's go, Spalik! Yes! He's having a great day today. He got the winner in the game in the Europa League. And now he gets us a last-minute equaliser in the first half against Roma. Brilliant finish. Finally, Foster Metz pushing up actually paid off. And it's a great first touch. And rockets it into the top right-hand corner. Nicholas Spalik in the 45th minute again. It's third of the season. Oh! Oh, my God, Viejo! Are you serious? It's right in front of the goal. Mm. <laughs> How... What does it take? What does it actually take for me to score with this guy? I know you have a three-star week for Look where the arrow is and look where the ball goes. Viejo is actually annoying me now, so I think I need someone with a bit more versatility. So Ballo is coming on and we're going to bring out Storaro for Gacinovic as well. So hopefully we can actually push up the pitch one. I'm going to go attacking as... Oh, I'm sorry. Going attacking as well. No, Tenali. No, Tenali. Stana, Fosu, no Fosu, yes, 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 Fa I know you're tired, Spadic, but you need to keep going, wait for it, wait for it, perfect, it's perfect, it's fucking perfect, he got away, what a touch, come on I, Florian, yes, 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 fuck you, Sebastian Quartes, you slow bastard, get in there, Florian I, come on, I think that's 14 for the season now, and we get the lead, shake, block, it's huffed up, Come on, I wins the header. One more attack. Come on, I. You're tired. Oh no, he's not looking at the acceleration. Florian, I. He does it. Game set and match. This man is an absolute god in Brescia, and he's doing the big man because he's the big man right now. 15 league goals and he seals a massive win winning that header there and I thought he's going to take a horrible touch but look at the acceleration right there there's the 90 pace one old keeper yet again puts it to the exact same side he predicts it but he still can't save it oh he has 15 he has two this game and we've got all three points yes come on boys 
This could be the season. Champions League football. We're in the Europa League. We made it to the last 16. We can do this. Mm. <sighs> a sim game against Benevento. And hopefully we can stay in the position we are. Maybe even crack in top four next episode. Because we're not going to get into third. But four is our best look at it so far anyway. Thank you so much for watching guys. As always, I'll see you next time.